Hello, this is Jeff. I thought I would do a little tutorial on uh, how to move from prototyping uh, into uh, production uh, for manufacturing, uh, basically on a CNC mill. And I got a couple of uh, little strategies I use to help me keep the time down uh, quite a bit. Uh, the first part uh, here, this is a uh, goes on a guitar. It takes about five minutes to machine and that's with pretty concise toolpath. Uh, there's not much you could do to get it to machine much faster. It's only a quarter by quarter square and uh, inch and uh, three quarter long but it does have nine tool changes. You can notice it's got radiuses, uh, needs to be cut to length, it's got a uh, you know a pocket, chamfers, drilled holes, uh, it's got a lot of little features in there for being such a small part. Uh, at five minutes a piece, it's uh, it's not too bad, you know, if you're running one per vice. Uh, but uh, if someone says I want a thousand of these, well, then you have to you have to adjust your strategy so that you're not running, uh, uh, you know, for 83 hours. I think is what what this would what this would take. And that the uh, the time that's generated here, that doesn't uh, it doesn't represent. Uh, everything going on, right? It doesn't represent how long it takes you. It doesn't know what kind of tool changer you have, right? So it doesn't know how long your tool changes take. It doesn't know how fast or rapid it is. It doesn't know how long it takes you to take the part out, put another part back in, and hit start again, right? So it's just this is how long it takes for those tools to run the tool path at that feed rate. Uh, that's all it knows. And it is going to be a very, very accurate time uh, minus those, those things. Uh, uh, the first thing that needs to be taken into consideration is uh, how you fixture it. We got a little segue here for that. Fixture design, right? Uh, I like to consider everything from when the material hits the floor to when the material uh, leaves done. Uh, so uh, whenever you're making these fixtures, uh, there's some uh, concepts I like to keep in mind. And one is, can I reduce uh, sawing? Uh, with my fixture design, and in this, uh, this is a good application of that. Uh, we save save a lot of sawing with this. Uh, not just sawing, but measuring each piece as they come off the bandsaw. Uh, we kind of push that out of the picture, and also handling each individual piece from moving them from the saw to where the machine is going to be at, keeping them orderly because they're falling all over the place, or or whatever and then handling each individual piece as they go inside the fixture right and making sure that you're gonna clear on both sides there's a lot of measuring so we've cut that out over a third by leaving them long so you're only handling uh, four pieces of material for this fixture instead of 12 uh, you're not sawing 12 pieces of material you're only sawing four so uh, a lot of time saved there by by this fixture design also the way we bolt it up uh, we try to maximize uh, the amount of parts we hold per clamp. So in this uh, situation, this clamp can hold, uh, you know, every screw holds one part. So every cell holds two parts with two clamps. Uh, you know, try to maximize that, and that's going to be based on your job. If, you have, if you're running 10,000 or 20,000, maybe you can justify a little hydraulic fixture where instead of doing one screw per part, you can hit one button and it releases all your parts. Uh, but for, for this job, we're just saying we're running about a thousand parts. Um, that's about what we ran. Um, uh, the last thing I like to do is try to group my cuts uh, or group my, my rapid motions. I want to reduce how many times it rapids. So whenever the tool goes down to do work, he can cut more than one part at a time. Right? The, the tool comes down and bup, 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 it's all four parts in one stroke. Um, you know, when it comes down to doing, uh, you know, any kind of motion, uh, he stays in the part longer. Uh, you know, for instance, uh, you know, you know, every motion here is, uh, you know, he rapids down and he cuts four parts instead of one. So you're saving all the all the rapid time, all the machine uh, position times. So that's a quick, uh, quick and dirty kind of. Uh, strategies for designing fixtures. So I hope that that was uh, a benefit to you. 
And uh, if you ever have any questions, let me know. I love to handle stuff like that, and I like uh, I like hard problems. <laughs> anyway, thank you.